Did they clean it out? The city yeah. brought him here. Oh. The city brought him here and she, said, this is federal land. Good thing. luck. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Well, Are you barking? Oh, oh. Hey. Hey there. Uh, boys have dropped him off. There you are. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Ooh, I haven't been sleeping all day because the rain. So it's nice the rain, right? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes yeah, I like man. to hibernate when it rains too much, though. Oh, oh, oh. How you been? I've been all right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been all right. Yeah, I want to introduce you to somebody. That's why I came down here today. You want to come with me? So Donnie is the CEO of the San Diego Rescue Mission. Okay. They have a, um, a navigation a center right, right here in Oceanside. Okay. Then they have two others, and then they have the big one in downtown. Okay. Of, I was telling him, of all the people that are homeless that I've ever met, mm -hmm. you're a person that I would like to help get off of the street, okay. if you actually wanted to be off yeah. the street. But their program is amazing their program is it's faith-based and they you know they start you out at the navigation center for 30 days and if you're a fit to go on to their next stop it's a year-long right. program that yeah. completely transforms your life I just went to one of their graduations mm -hmm. and these people are I mean one of them is about to become a cop and oh. you're just someone that I feel like is at a stage that you can easily be helped okay. and I don't want to keep coming out here and seeing yeah, you homeless yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see I'd like to come visit you yeah. inside somewhere else, somewhere else, yeah. yeah inside with the showers and you know yeah we would love to help you okay. and the fact that she believes in you so much that 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 says something yeah that there's people out in the world that actually believe yeah that believe sure, in you sure. right yeah i mean i think this is what my fourth fifth time <laughs> coming down here yeah. yeah um i grew up in vista actually i've only been homeless for about going on two years now two years mm -hmm. okay um i when i became homeless i was living in el cajon had a job had my kids um had an apartment, she hit the fan one day, and I literally lost my job, lost my apartment, Everything. found myself in downtown San Diego. Happens quick. <laughs> the bottom's down there. Mm. Kind of scary. Yep. Oh, the bottom's is scary. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it was in San Diego for about two months, I think it was, two, three mm. months. Went to Carlsbad, and then migrated up here okay. to Oceanside, because it's, it's closer to Vista. My mom lives in Vista, so okay. she'll help me out when she can. How long have you been here? here? I've been down, living down here since... Over November, probably going on a little more than a year now, living down here in the harbor. Because I've I've seen you for the last seven months. Because the first yeah. time I met you was in May. Yeah. So I've been, I've been living down here for about over a year. Well, let's get you out of here. Let's figure out a way to, to get you out of here and get you some help. Yeah, yeah that would be it, awesome. It, it's more than a bed. Yeah. Um, you know, it's an amazing the first facility. Class facility. It's beautiful. The city spent seven point six million dollars on it, so it mm -hmm. actually looks more like a hotel. Okay. But you'd have your own room. You have your own, not your own room, but you have your own bed. You have a shower, and, and we feed you three times a day, and just let us help you figure your stuff out. Okay. You have to see a case manager, and yeah. we we'll through that case management that we help you navigate your path forward. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we'd love to get you over there because okay. you don't belong down here. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, I, I do know that. Um, it's I not going to end. My well. only concern is I have a dog. So right. we'll take your dog. Okay. Plus, okay. you probably got. Dog. You and your dog will be a lot, right? lot safer here than out here. I want to talk to this young lady too. I've met you, I think, the last two times yeah. I've been down here. Awesome. Yeah, and it might help you to have a friend, you know. Like, yeah. But I was like, when I came down here today, specifically, I wanted to introduce you to him, and they said you weren't here, and I was like, of oh, all. Oh. The days. days. Yeah. Every time I come down, you're here. I'm like, how can this be? Yes, good to meet you. Yes, good to meet you. Well, if you can come down and do a visit and take somebody off the street at the same time, that's a pretty good deal, right? I just feel so stoked. She is going to get help when we figure out where to put her dog. And then um, the other gentleman, Lori's going to talk to him about right now. We're going to get the other Marine. Yeah, the other. Was he in the Marine Corps? Yes. In the Marine Corps. Yeah, he got out the same year I went in. Oh, I love that. Okay. We did our work. He's a smart guy, too. Good. Oh, he's intelligent. And all yeah. Been uh, for like the last eight months, and we got evicted and ended up back out here. Um, we've been staying in hotels because I won't let her stay down here. But uh, how old is your daughter? Sixteen. Only sixteen. Yeah. What made you feel like 
you can trust Donnie enough to go with him today, or you just need to get off the street. Just need to get off the street, but he was nice. You know, like when I walked up behind you guys, he was like, hey, and so, so what's your story? Yeah. So I told him, let him know what's going on, and then uh, told me he could help me. Yes. Well, he will do more than just help you. Anyway, I'm impressed by your decision to go. I'm going to be praying for you guys. Thank you. Very All right, much. awesome.